So this, uh, this robot is what, and what's primary strategy was to uh, locate uh, what were representing houses uh, that had toxic mortgages in them. Now, getting rid of the houses on, on your opponent's side gave them negative points, and we won most of our competition, uh, not by scoring positive points, by, but by giving our opponents more negative points. And what, 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 what is doing here is actually tracking the green object there and finding it, figuring out how far away it is with sonar, and then knocking it off the table. And then there, if there's multiple green houses, it would then go and track for the next one and try to uh, get rid of it like it's doing right now. It's doing an excellent job. So and it was very persistent. It would, if it couldn't find it the first time, it would back up and try again and be able to do that. It uh, had all sorts of sensors on it that helped localize it to what part of the arena it was on. Um, and the programming uh, uh, helped it determine exactly where it's at. And occasionally it would get stuck like this on, on PVC and it would uh, have some uh, persistence there. <laughs> well, because it's really mimicking us as people. We have arms and limbs and we have a brain. And I just find it fascinating to find out how simple things can be, but yet bringing all that simplicity together, how complex things we can make. Yes, I would like to make a career out of this because Building robots has always been one of the most enjoyable things for me to do. Uh, I enjoy just making things intelligent, like actually programming them, giving them a semblance of reality, and it's just amazing what these simple things can do.